Also, we're immediately going in with first versus Viri. Uh, Viri going his main and first also going his uh, actual main. Oh, yeah. He knows who to put that on. He knows when to play his pocket and when to get serious. How did I not reflect? I thought it was a constant reflector. Man, Dark Kid is one of those characters that is very dangerous, dangerously uh, terrifying, but at the same time, very obscure. Yeah, because not many people play them, but he's like a solid character with like decent killing, a, you know, a decent projectile, um, a super armor recovery move with his side B, his down B is good, he has a lot of kill power. Like, his back air almost killed Rob at, like, probably 85. His, his smash attacks are very powerful. His up smash isn't the most powerful, but his forward smash is pretty good. Like, people just play Dark Pit for the side beat, honestly. It's just better off to kill Sterling. You're better off killing uh, horizontally, definitely. Yeah, almost almost all the time you're better off with a horizontal kill. Then sacrificing the, that mobility of arrows with actual kill power. It's a very preferable kill. Of course, uh, you can usually space out those here, but... I mean, Tip's Nair is sort of just like a, a worse Polynair, because you can combo into itself, it just doesn't do nearly as much damage, nor does it combo edgy. Zyro down tilt combos is what these JoJo fanboys like to call a sandwich. Why is it a JoJo? It's a fighting game uh, based on part three that you should play. It's a very old uh, game. Actually. It's called Heritage for the Future. And like, you can just have your stand and the stand you do this like sandwich them. Oh, okay. It's kind of like similar to Rob. I didn't, like, like... I didn't know JoJo even had a fighting game. Oh yeah, multiple. Like one arena game or like one FPC. So oh, like Bob Mine. He plays Heritage for the Future. Oh man, I the game. He's talking to Dan, by the way. Say hi to Saris, everybody. What's up, Saris? Alright, he knee of no I mean uh, people's elbow. 2015 move. 18. Also yeah. knows he could beat on the jump with the elbow. Jeez, I gotta stop getting off track. <laughs> Theory's kind of reading out a lot of uh bursts options. I know what a lot of Pits and dark pits do uh, is sort of like use their uh, the ranging on their F, their forwarder because they really leave their hitbox out while they leave their hurtbox in. So if you space that really uh, right, if you space that right, uh, you can get a lot of safe interactions. Ready? I've been hit by those several times. Let me uh, read Twitch chat. Three, I have two, not signed one, in. Go! There's not much happening in there. No? Okay. I think it's just a bit of a, a tyrant fight. Like, you know? yeah. Not every week can be perfect. With like everyone's availability. We did have a good chunk of people actually in the tournament though. I believe we had like 50 people in here. Nice. 
Now I believe that small battlefield and regular battlefield have the same size. I want to say they have the same size, yeah. I think they have the exact same size, just minus the top platform. Because Battlefield yeah. already had a pretty small ceiling. It's just that the top platform made it seem, like, non-existent. That's a lot of empty space. It's a lot of empty space. But I just... It's also because Battlefield platforms are... I think these platforms might be lower than normal. Because, like, Rob's head almost touches the bottom of the platform, and I don't remember, like, even Peach touching the bottom of the platform. Because her up smash doesn't hit Battlefield platform, so I think these might be lower. Are they? Okay. So apparently they are the exact same height. Uh, maybe I believe... Maybe it's just because I never use Battlefield and I hate it for the top platform that I don't ever, like, get anything off of it. Also, Peach's up smash is being really, really thin. He had that melee umbrella. Or she just had Smash 4 Parasol. I'm thinking about she'd that actually now. be able to like kill with that. I was thinking about that Armada clip. Where he was like, he went oh, yeah, all the time for it. And like, back here into something. I remember the one where he like, did the open and close because they reset the hitbox yeah. on him. I've done that. Yelling. I've tried doing it. Ooh, that was a really good snipe. Oh, I was gonna it say. It didn't kill, but he died it hard. He'd been trying to do that a couple nasty. times. The game. I mean, there's nothing. It wouldn't have broken shields in any capacity. Get out of the I mean, it worked. Uh, Viri is still a stock ahead with a large percent lead. I think Burst is having trouble with that Nair. I think most people, most characters have trouble with Rob Nair. Yeah, that's gonna kill him. Catch with him with the side B. Well, a lot of characters, I think, in general, have trouble with Rob. Rob. Yeah. A lot of people can conjure it, some people can't. But what I can say for sure is that that was definitely game two, and I'm not crazy. No, that was game two. Yes. See if uh, Burst has any counter picks to Rob. Maybe an answer to his neutral, to his point of style. Not sure what comes to mind recording that, though. And then there's considering who he's skilled at playing. I haven't seen Burst play a lot, just like clips from Yeet Smash. Yeah. We got Lemme. Yeah, Lemme's gonna be commentating soon. Oh, cool. He's one of our um, one of our future commentators. Spoiler alert. Three, two, one, go! I keep getting a mix with uh, Quilly from STL. Cause they had a couple of Quilly. I was like, Quilly? Oh, All right. Yeah, oh, that quick stock. Yeah, immediately putting Gary in a huge lead. Yeah, you can dare this guy. You can dare Rob. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh I was gonna go for another side beat because he wasn't high, high enough. Yeah, you can dare Rob at zero like four times. He won't he die because he has. If the fuel takes so much, if you don't send him that far. And then you won't get that chance because, like, after the third time, you already know what's up. You can like mix people up with that uh, death build. Like, so. <laughs> oh, no tech though. Come on. Oh, wow. oh yeah, Bur <laughs> burst is just like yo. Yeah. No, that's it. He's going out in style. He's not here. He doesn't care about winning at the game. There we go. He's on one spike. He's doing what he's got to do. He's going out like a key. On his own terms, he's got a mission. He's a fellow member of the Balfour Church. The Balfour Church. Oh, he went for the jump right? Which I don't really know why, he was at a low point. Yeah. 
where it's just like, please don't make me a cutscene. No, it's okay, I don't care anymore. That's where he's at. I don't care anymore, I'll be the cutscene. I'm fine with being a cutscene, doesn't matter what. Let's turn that down smash, didn't I? Good Falco players know exactly what they're up to, and that's captivating. <laughs> Side B? No. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for a disrespect. I would've. Yeah, man. Beery's just taunting. Well, he knew Burst was dead, so he was like, I'll just stay here and taunt. For that yeah. game for 